Yo, hey guys, good evening, guys. So very, very sorry because we're having some technical issue just now, but it's okay. Everything is on schedule. Okay, so thank you for joining us tonight. And today's topic is a very, very interesting one where you get to learn how to spend zero on Facebook marketing and you get to earn thousands on Shopee. So as usual, let us um, welcome our seven figures on um, Shopee seller, Coach Dylan. Hi, Dylan. How is everything going? It has been a week, you know? Yeah, everything is going well. And this is our fourth time doing this live together, right? Yes, ngam ngam. Ngam ngam a yeah, month. Yeah, ngam ngam a month. Yes, yeah. yes. So I was yeah. uh, glad to have you guys together to watch my live and share my knowledge to you guys. And today it's a very awesome day because we mm -hmm. invited a very special person. So VIP, uh, we need to leave behind the big one. <laughs> The big car has to leave that behind. And um, I actually have, um, I mean, I'm actually quite happy for, I mean, on this four weeks program because we get to see like, um, actually a, quite a few bit of uh, our group members that actually get to earn some money already with their new Shopee account. Yes. Yes. So I think it's, it's a very good thing that um, um, it means that whatever that we are sharing with you guys is actually make an impact on their sales here. Yes, I was uh, quite surprised. Uh, you know, every day have some people came to me and say, uh, I finally received an order. And after the artwork, especially after they redo the product picture, and it really works very well. And it's, uh, it's surprising, like, it, it, it amazed me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, for for those that um do not know who is Dylan, I mean for those like new newcomer, you see. So Dylan, he is actually own a couple of um, Shopee store, and he is actually earning seven figures income in just fifteen months. So for those that do not um know who is Dylan, so he's actually um is a very experienced seller in terms of in Shopee, and he's definitely able to give us a lot a lot of great tips for those people that just started um, Shopee. And uh, before we go any further, can we um, just, um, can, can we like uh, announce something that um, uh, is actually Marcus on or how goes? Hey Raymond, hey Raymond, how is things going? Hey May, hey May Pua. Hey Emia, hey Amar. Hey Anthony Tan. So yeah, finally he is here. <laughs> yeah. Hi, yeah. <laughs> finally he is here. Hello everyone. Hi Marcus. Yeah, uh, I mean, let just just uh, let me do a more proper or more formal uh, introduction before we invite uh, Marcus Dio over. So um, Marcus Dio is the best selling author and he is also a zero budget Facebook marketing trainer. Yeah. Hi, Marcus. How is everything is going? I mean, thank you for joining me and Dylan today. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be with two gurus here. Um, thanks. Thanks for the uh, the compliments. Actually, I have a very um straightforward question um for Dylan. You know, when when I just um hear from Marcus that when you can actually generate. Um, traffic or income on your store without actually spending anything on Facebook ads or I mean on Facebook marketing. So what is the first thing that comes into your mind, Dylan? Is this like a gimmick technique or do you actually believe on, on this? Uh, when I first met Marcus, it's actually two years back. And then mm -hmm. at first I was very uh, curious. La. The, the opening is like that. So he stand <laughs> out to the stage and then he showed that he's a bestseller for this book now or never so i was like huh best seller or how can i don't know it's like it's like a big thing for me back then i was mm -hmm. very uh, yeah yeah this book i was very naive <laughs> and i don't know much lah. so after mm -hmm. i hear how she sell something in facebook and market it it's it makes sense it makes sense that the way he do is uh, workable so starting from that day i connected to marcus and then i mm -hmm. i learned many from him and uh, she's a very humble guy and she has a patient to teach so she, he also don't mind to teach me lah. And then it works for me. So it's, it's not a fake thing, it's a poor thing. <laughs> you can spend zero on Facebook and generate leads. This is the true, mm -hmm. true thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, because when when I when, when I posted the post like on um, today that we are actually going to share with all the members that how we can actually spend zero on Facebook and make thousand on Shopee, you know, some of the comment is pretty sarcastic, um, sar sarcastic, you know, sarcastic, yes, yes. sarcastic. Yeah, they say like um. Oh, Impossible, yeah. la, you know, if you want to make money with Facebook, of course, you have to spend on ads, la, da, 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 and da, da, da. so yeah, I, I mean, so Marcus, to, um, tonight he's going to share everything. And if you have any question, you know, regarding this, just um, I'll put it in the comment box, okay? So, um, first thing, Dylan, do you have any, any questions for uh, our coach Marcus here? Uh, okay, so uh, Marcus, how did you? find out this like a uh, ZVFM, zero budget Facebook marketing. How do you find out? And then through the journey, how do you master it? And then you got testimonial on yourself and it's a proven system and then you teach people. I mean, how do you find out? It all started when I was in my branded handbag business. So when we were in handbag business, we have to buy all our handbags by credit card, meaning by cash. Due wow. to our inexperience, after we bought our stocks, we didn't allocate mm -hmm. any marketing budget. So it's like, oh my goodness, all the tens of thousands of handbags in front of us now ship in already. You have to sell, but you don't know how to market. Then no more cash and credit card already in debt. Uh, it's not a good way lah, to use credit card. It's very high risk, but at the time we didn't know anything, right? So just do it first. And I realized that now that we have to bring people to our event to buy our handbags, no more budget. And I realized we have many Facebook friends. So the first question people love to ask is, your handbags, are they authentic? And to our friends, trust us, right? Because they say, hey, I know you for so many years, you wouldn't just sell a fake handbag to me and then run away with my 2,000, 3,000 or 5,000. <laughs> so it started with own circle and I discovered that our friends, some will buy from us. Some will support us just by showing up, but they won't buy. But some will also buy already, post on Facebook and invite their friends to come. Hence, this is a very powerful network that we should really capitalize. And as I move along, I realized that you can engage them in many, many creative ways. So someone who didn't think of buying from you will end up thinking, oh yeah, ho, I could have bought from you. Or why did I go to another place? So uh, Marcus, I, I just have a couple of questions for you, for you as well, because uh, for those guys that do, uh, that do not know, I actually I met Marcus. I think it's about six years back, right? Wow. Five, five, six yes. years back, I think. Six years. Yeah, and yeah, and that yes. time um, he was selling handbags, only handbags, I think. And now he is selling like yes. um, all all kind of stuff just by using Facebook only. And also, he has been like um, coaching a lot of business owner as well, um, so that they can make. Yeah, make, make, make sales as well on Facebook without spending any on ads. So my question for you is that um, how do you start out like all these um, coaching kind of things? Oh yeah, and I actually I started... sorry, and I actually has uh, um, went for Marcus course before as well. I think it's three three years back, right? That that was your first first yes, course. Two, one, five. Marketing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, five years already. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so, so how? Yes, when you attended. Mm. Yeah, when you attended, the program was how to start the business with RM199, which mm -hmm. now is turned into the book because from my experience teaching that program is not successful at all. It's very hard mm -hmm. to get people to start a business and make money very quickly. So I was scratching mm -hmm. my head. Then suddenly in Facebook, I just posted, I asked if I were to teach you how to market your business and generate business without spending, would you be interested? Then suddenly my friends just liked the post 100 over likes with 30 over comments. They wanted to attend. So I saw mm -hmm. the market demand. I immediately within a month came up with a workshop, physical mm -hmm. workshop. And I did it uh, in a hotel because I wanted the brand. Then I had mm -hmm. 40 over participants. So Ooh. it's like, wow, this works. Awesome, man. Awesome. Of course, the first time is normally very good because it's very new. So from 40 over, the next one, 30 over, then it dropped like 20, 20, 20. Mm -hmm. so. But then, and then after a while, you get some branding, then your number will go up again. So as mm -hmm. I was teaching, I realized that it's very fast to generate result because I give you one tip. This mm -hmm. evening you post, you will immediately see the result. Normally your post is about 
50 likes. Now suddenly 80. You are convinced already, right? It's like just a tweak of words. Mm -hmm. So can you like, uh, what sort of business that most of your students are doing? Are they doing like uh, online selling or offline selling or, you know, or a, a mixture of all industry? It's a mixture of all industry, but those that do uh, very well, because I focus a lot is on real estate and then mm -hmm. uh, also direct selling mm -hmm. and general business owners like professionals, uh, mm -hmm. e-commerce sellers as well, because mm -hmm. e-commerce you sell, but how many of your friends actually buy if you are selling business to consumer products like fans, mm -hmm. like tables, mm -hmm. chairs, or even cars that people buy? If your friends are not buying from you, it only means they're buying from somebody else, which means that are your competitors. So, yes, yeah, you it's very true. Right? It's very true. It's very true. Yeah, so uh, I, sorry, I uh, didn't have another question. Uh. So, um, uh, Marcus, I just wondering, like, uh, do you think that for those that are watching, like, because I'm pretty sure that uh, most of the people that are watching now, you know, they are sellers in the shopping. Mm. So do you think that uh, hmm. your method will as well benefit them? Definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. A testimonial is here with us, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> a true testimonial. <laughs> yes. Why mm -hmm. Shopee sellers need to have a strong personal Facebook account and a zero budget means using personal account. Because if you have 1,000 friends and you are selling mm -hmm. on Shopee, out of your mm. 1,000 friends, it, unless you are selling like nuclear missile that nobody buys from you, <laughs> otherwise, whatever you are selling, you are selling shampoo, coffee, uh, mm. FMCG, fast-moving consumer group goods. That means mm. it's very easy to buy from you. It's just you did not let your friends know you are selling, end up they are mm. buying from somebody else because you have been posting a lot of food photos, cooking photos, workout mm. photos and videos when you are not in fitness or food industry so your friend mm. when you want to work out they ask you like, how to do this exercise <laughs> or when they want to cook this dish they will ask you yes. but they did not ask you when they want to buy the clothing that you are selling because you did not educate them and you did not give them a strong reason to buy from you mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. mm -hmm. totally understand yeah yeah, um, did have anything from you for Marcus? Because I, I have a couple of questions. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if we have, just go ahead. Actually, I want to add on something. It's like, mm -hmm. uh, even though if you do a Facebook marketing, like, in, re in return, you'll get a result of sales. But actually, mm -hmm. what I saw from my side is also when I do Facebook marketing, my supplier, they saw the existing the existence of my, my existence in sh online. So it's like, a, have a confidence. Imagine you're a supplier, you are giving your product to a, a distributor or reseller. So you are seeing him so actively promoting your products. So it, in return, they will see, wow, this uh, distributor is a very long term, uh, it's a collaboration, a long term collaboration. So imagine how much support you will get from your supplier. So this is another benefit if you do uh, branding and also zero budget Facebook marketing with your profile. Yeah, and I want to add on this because it's not end of the day it's not all about selling to the customer but also your branding and everyone see you sees you as a business identity uh, so yeah i mean um for those yeah. that is uh what, watching now the, the, um if you if you have any question you, you can just like post it on the comment box and then we are going to um, answer your questions okay so for now i just want to ask uh, marcus about uh, one specific question mm -hmm. okay so so for example um, um, I appreciate mm -hmm. a lot of people in the um, Facebook, I mean, on my Facebook group, I mean, they are Shopee sellers and most of them are selling things maybe like um, fast moving consumer goods, like toothbrush, you know, mm. and um, pen, mm. those kind of stuff. If you are the seller, mm. you know, how would you actually mm. um, post or what sort of things that you are going to do on a daily basis? So that you can gain uh, mm. the, com the confidence of your fans, you know, or your friends that oh, Marcus is sell selling this thing. I I want to buy from him, and mm. I'm not going to buy from Dylan mm. or buy from I want to buy from Marcus. So what sort of things that you are going to do? Okay, very good. Let's use pen as an example because all of us mm. need pen. And if you are selling pen, the straightforward way that everybody already know how to do is hey everyone, I'm selling pen. If you want to buy pen, find me. 
that is so direct and no reason for people to buy, you, buy from you because it's like, you ask me to buy, I buy me. You have to give me a reason. So how do you give people a reason? Is you do a lot of things around your product. So if your pen, so for me, it's very easy. I can sell pen quite easily because I'm an author, right? So people say, wow, the author uses pen to sign one, no? and it's a signing every day. That means indirectly it's saying that this pen is quite good. Lah. That's why you use it all the time. This is using the pen, showing the product in action. And then you can also compare. Sometimes you compare different, different pens. And because you are comparing, you are like the authority. You review the product. And people get educated. Oh, I didn't know that this pen uh, is harmful to the environment. This pen is more friendly to the environment, for example. Then you can talk about ink. Some of the things that you do, you write. After a while, you see, oh, you see this ink, it's fading already. You cannot see already because the quality of the ink is so poor. And these are some of the things. You can also do naughty things. The beauty about Facebook is naughty things. So viral video are the naughty ones, right? Then you use the pen uh, and you can draw on your friend's face or when he's sleeping or your sister or your brother but this is not the recommended way like i'm just giving an example don't say i teach you this naughty things <laughs> all right so sometimes you draw something very funny and very beautiful say on your uh, sister's or brother's uh, feet and then after that people will say hey, why you are so naughty then you can use this as an excuse and say because it's non-toxic don't worry you can do that because it's non-toxic so it's a selling point for your ink already right so Parents would buy for their kids because, hey, you can go and paint on your brother, sister's, uh, whatever, <laughs> and you can put on the wall. After that, you can remove easily. So all these things, you notice that I'm not asking you to buy my pen, but yes. I'm talking about pen. So the next time any of your friends think of pen or even paper or book, they will ask you first. And the beauty is you must think bigger than consumer buying one or two pens. You must talk like an entrepreneur where you can say, do you know that by picking the right pen for a major listed company, one year, how much money you can save? Because some are refillable, right? And sometimes you look at the pen, this one has so much, this one has so little, but you didn't know. So when you educate people to buy pen, they can see, wow, this one you can write 50 pages more. So in a year, it's going to save you this much. This is all around a pen. And I'm just talking about black pen. I haven't talked about other colors. So um, I just wondering, I mean, um, those that are watching this video now, um, do you guys actually have a Facebook page for your products? So if you have a product page for your, I mean, on your Facebook, just comment Facebook on the comment box so that we get to know as well. Is there anyone? So for example, like uh, I'm selling pens, so I have a Facebook, like maybe wing, wing, wing pen or pen wing. So is there anyone have a Facebook page mm. for their business? Mm. No? Anyone else? Interesting exposure. Oh, he, he is uh, do, jotting down the notes, is it? I don't know. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Inia O oh, is uh, Inia jotting is down the notes. Jotting down the point form. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for those that do not have any um, Facebook page yeah, for, their, for their business, I think the very first thing that you have to do is to have your own Facebook page, right, um, uh, Marcus? Personal yes, account. Personal. Oh, on your per personal, personal accounts. No hmm. Facebook page. Personal <laughs> accounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's free and Facebook mm -hmm. will still send you traffic Facebook wants you to have a lot of traffic, so you continue to use Facebook. But page mm -hmm. is different because Facebook wants you to pay for advertisement. So they make mm -hmm. you feel very attached to Facebook. Then you mm -hmm. are ready to spend now because you love Facebook. Yes, mm -hmm. I, can, I can share a testimonial. Out. So last, uh, mm -hmm. when I met Marcus, that time I was uh, starting a bakery business. So the first message I contact Marcus is about how do I sell cookies? Very funny one. I, I did a poster and then I said, Marcus, so how do I sell cookies? And then Marcus, uh, he really gave me the advice. He said, you cannot do this. La. This is very hard selling and all. So I took his advice and how, what I did is I copied his post. Marcus' Facebook post is very, uh, very, con <laughs> very valuable one. Can create leads on. So back then I was selling mooncake cookies. So if you know mooncake cookies, the margin can be very high one. 
So that time I did a poster and then I do a post. I say, uh, comment free mooncake mo mm. and tag a friend. So you will get one piece free mooncake, free delivery to your house, you know. So many people is like, huh, possible, mm. man? And then they go comment, no? So once they comment, we will go to PM them. I'll ask, okay, mm. now you have a free mooncake. Do you want us to delivery on which day and then when do you want to collect it? And or else, or you want to buy a box. A box is six piece. So we free one piece, you buy five piece. You know, back then I was very young. So many, you know, Coco they will say, okay, la, okay, la, buy one box, la, buy two box. La. So end up, uh, it's a leap. Yeah, even though if they don't want to buy, they want a one piece, we also send over to them. It's a promise. Yeah, so zero budget hmm. Facebook marketing, it, it really works. Hmm. I uh, appreciate a lot of people. I mean, <laughs> the, the things that they, they are shy, I, I guess, I don't know, you know, you know they, are, they are shy to let people know that they are actually selling things. Do you, do you, do you have this kind of uh, things, uh, you know, for, for those people that just started to sell, sell things? Yes, it's very common because to them, when they see other people sell, it's hard selling. It's like very pushy mm -hmm. salesmen. So people will feel very irritated or unpleasant, right? So they don't want to sell, but they haven't understood the concept of selling without selling where if I want to buy something and you are selling me something, let's say I want to buy a car and because you sell me this car, I'm so happy, right? Because I wanted to buy it. But on Facebook, people are not ready to buy your pen yet because they didn't come to Facebook. I want to buy pen today. Suddenly I go out to Facebook and search. I will go to Shopee <laughs> to search for pen, right? Or go to retail yeah. store. But now they are spending a lot of time on Facebook. So we just have to trigger them in different, different things. Like if I want to sell pen, uh, I will say, hey, who wants this free journal, free notebook? Because you need pen to write. <laughs> you talk about things evolving around your products and services. Yes. And uh, then uh, that when they say they want a free notebook, then like Dylan strategy is amazing he's so creative so then you say like, okay you have a notebook how about just add up a bit of money and then you can buy this pen so it's your marketing cost maybe one time two time they don't buy a lot but it's engagement and then it become a story so our life all of us is a story people love to mm -hmm. see what we eat what we wear what we cook what who we spend time with all this if you strategize you can generate leads by asking certain questions and then they will respond very quickly I'll give you one tip. You can always ask people to vote for something. People yeah. love to vote. People love to give you advice. People love to be very, appear to be very uh, caring and smart. So you ask for help and then they will give you the help. And when they give you the help, because they have to read your content, they only can give you their opinion, right? So yeah. when I was publishing my book, I asked people to vote for the photo. Wow, I have 200 over people voting for the photo. But because they vote for the photo, so they know that I have a book coming. So I will say, yeah. hey, Wing, thanks for voting for this photo. By the way, uh, would you like to learn more about entrepreneurship? Then you should say yes. So I'm leading you until finally the last question is, do you want to be the first 50 buyers? Then normally the answer is yes, like, because you are in the process. Mm -hmm. Yes, vote, oh, vote, voting does work. <laughs> oh yeah, and one thing I remember that, uh, Marcus, you are actually teaching um, entrepreneur in uh, Berjaya, Ber right? Is it? You used to. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. I was a part-time entrepreneurship lecturer where I mm -hmm. taught my students how to start a business with zero or very low budget. And mm -hmm. every single thing was profitable because they learned the art of selling first or in e-commerce term, you can call that drop shipping. Back then, it's not so popular. Drop shipping. Now, it's more and more popular. So when you know the demand, when you have something to offer, people are willing to pay first. Then your risk is very, very minimal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, um, some of you guys that are watching it now, maybe it does not make any sense yet, you know, because it's um, all new to you guys, you know. So what is the very first steps, Marcus? Do you recommend those that... Um, um, have no idea, you know, how to start. What is the very, very first step that mm. they have to do now after they watch, uh, they watch our, our life? What's the first thing that they have to do? For those that are starting The first thing they should do is to educate people 
within their own network first. Be mm-hmm. an entrepreneur, don't be a salesman. Salesman people buy from you because of product and price. So you'll be very tired after a while. If your competitor is cheaper, then they will just go away. So yeah, salesman. But entrepreneur is sometimes your product is more expensive, but they will buy from you. Maybe because they see something else. For example, I want to buy from Dylan. Then Dylan is my friend. The boss is my friend. So this one people are buying because of the feel good factor. So the first thing is you must make sure all your family and friends, which is already on your Facebook. Know what you do as a profession, because otherwise you have wasted all your personal networks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How you make people to know what you do? You talk about your lifestyle. So if I'm selling pants, I won't ask people to buy. I will show photo of me packing pants, a lot of pants, boxes, boxes, boxes of pants. So understood, law it's like oh you sell pants, so yeah. you pack pants, mm-hmm. or you do quality control, then you keep signing, and then you throw away some, and then say, you still <laughs> tell a story about your lifestyle. That's the first yeah. step. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I mean, I mean, um, as you said early on, you know, a lot of us that are actually selling my shopping, but they do not actually post this kind of stuff on their on their uh, personal page. But instead, they post like on um, the food, you know, on uh, um, the dog or the cat or whatever that is viral on the internet. Instead of what they are actually doing, and they complain to like uh Dylan, hey Dylan. So sad, you know, very hard. I cannot generate any any money. Yeah, because I think because they do not do the right ways. Yeah. So they just post up those um products on Shopee yes. and hope for the um the people will buy from, from them. Correct. Yeah. Cannot hope. Now this hope is very risky. We have to control. Control what? Control our whole marketing process our business where you know people will buy it's just whether they buy a lot or buy a little bit mm-hmm. yeah um marcus will you be able to share it's a number the, game. Little, will you be able to share some of the um the system of how how things actually works or can you touch a little bit on the psychology of um, a buyer because you know there are a lot of people selling the exactly same things you know Maybe like um the thing that is selling by Dylan is selling by Wayne or Marcus as well. So and then we actually have the same friend as well. Mm. You know. So how I mean what sort of things that um that we okay. can do? Yeah. Okay, the strategy is this. Let's just talk about pen. Huh? Since we are really talking about pen today, I just bought a pen. <laughs> so if three of us are selling pen, the product, <laughs> the product is really competition if you sell pen we sell the same pen we are competitors now we break the pie i'm not going to compete with you i focus on profession so i will think who will buy a lot of pens maybe to me is teacher so i will zoom into teachers because teacher mark a lot of books okay so if my target audience is teacher you can sell pen to engineers you can sell pens to authors i will sell pen to teachers so my target audience is different from you already. And my posts on Facebook and my friends by right should have many teachers because mm-hmm. you want to add them into your Facebook so they can see your content. So they like you, they trust you, then they buy from you, right? And then my content will be written in such that teacher would like to read content about school, la, student, la, parenting, la, this kind of content. So it's a strategy evolving around my business, but not appear to be selling. That's one. This is profession target. Second, okay, maybe location. You are staying in a different area. I target this location. So those who buy, they will get my product the fastest time. I'm the king in this, uh, say, uh, SS2 area, fastest delivery. Because in Shopee, also you have the location, right? Mm-hmm. And then next is partnership. Uh, First one is profession, second is location, third is collaboration. Uh, all the shun, uh, huh? Collaboration, who do I collaborate with if I sell pen? If someone buy a pen, someone will also buy a notebook. So if I don't sell mm-hmm. notebook, then I collaborate with the notebook person. If not, then you can collaborate with a gift supplier. Gift supplier also sometimes will propose pen, right? <laughs> so I hope you can remember these three. I get profession, location, collaboration i think this tree is good to start with and then you show it on your facebook or maybe also link in instagram 
Oh, so can actually it's just the platform. Location, location. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that, that's why I, I try to type in, inside the comment box actually. <laughs> I type the comment box. So uh, Marcus, do you uh, is there any products you know that cannot be sell on Facebook? Nuclear bombs. <laughs> yes, firearms, <laughs> drugs, <laughs> human trafficking. <laughs> Or sometimes it can be something that's very, very niche. For example, some engineering spare parts of some machine. Mm -hmm. So some people are in very niche industry. They say, okay, on Facebook, nobody will buy my product because my product is a medical device. Maybe only hospital use it. Uh, yes very and no. Niche. If you sell something that only hospital can use, that means your target audience is very niche. But don't you agree that someone may work in the hospital mm -hmm. you may have friends who work in the hospital or have doctors who work in the hospital and one day the conversation can be hey do you know someone who has this high-tech machine then you will say hey yeah the day i saw in facebook uh, this guy uh, my buddy uh, he's talking about this very high-tech some hospital equipment i don't know what lah. let me go check mm -hmm. oh i think is this what you want uh? so there is a chance don't say it's zero because we don't know who knows who. Yes. Mm -hmm. We never know. Yeah. And I and I yesterday I saw uh, I saw like a live yeah that that you you do that uh Marcus did that um your your friends or your student is challenging you that um can can you actually sell jo Georgia? Hong 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 <laughs> Hong <laughs> that, that one is midnight live wow. surprise. Uh, midnight live. Yeah. Hong <laughs> Hong <laughs> Hong <laughs> Hong <laughs> What do you call them? So, uh, kuma, it's not kuma. Red dates, dates. Uh, dates, right? Goji uh, berries, goji berries. Uh, red goji dates. berries. Is, yeah. is that your, is that your stu students or what? Is Irvin watching this? <laughs> yes, yes. Our big boss. <laughs> <laughs> Irvin, are you here? Yeah. yeah, so, so I mean, uh, uh, Marcus student is challenging him like, um, can he actually sell, or do uh, I Actually, with, not with challenge. Uh, actually, not challenge. Marcus want to prove him that <laughs> he can sell in. Yeah, Marcus want to prove uh, him. Uh, because it's, yeah. it's like me, <laughs> midnight pose or more than one. one <laughs> yeah, I mean, nowadays uh, a lot of people sell like all sort of things. They uh, sell fish, they sell shirt, they sell bra. You know, I think, um, yeah, I think those yes, people yeah. that is that is um, not, not earning any money on Facebook is because they have not started doing it. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And the problem with many people is they are too afraid of making mistakes. They are afraid of saying the wrong things. They are afraid mm -hmm. of not having sale. They are afraid of 101 things that they don't even take action. So their result is always zero. And then one mm -hmm. year pass, two years pass, five years pass. All the time is wasted. So if you want to be successful in business, the first thing is to just take action. And you have no risk when you are not spending tens of thousands or thousands to do something. Going onto Facebook Live and saying the wrong thing is fine because you are just starting. So what do you expect? Yes. If you say wrong thing, wrong thing, then say sorry, like say the wrong things. You can comment as <laughs> so, well. Or worst case, you just delete the live law. <laughs> What's the big deal? Yeah, agree. Yeah, I mean, this, this actually is my fourth live. I have never, never done any live before. Yeah, until like... You are doing great. You are doing very great. Wow. Then I, I, I met um, Dylan. Hey, Dylan, uh, do you, I mean, do you want to do a, a live together, you know, share some of your tips, you know, on helping others to, to, um, to have more sales on their shopping? And then, yeah, boom. And then we just do it. Yeah. yeah and then, yeah, yeah it's good. It's, it's, everybody is watching. I mean, you are, you yourself are watching now, you know. So I think um, you just have to do it. You have to do it. And you do not need to have yeah, like, yeah. A, a, what do you call that? A, a fancy equipment, you know, you just have your Zoom. Zoom right or yes. just 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 live just live on Facebook then then yeah then you, you can do do it and then yeah. um just just let me answer these questions um when mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah but Facebook nowadays has become um stricter with the ads I think uh, because we are not doing the ads ads kind of things I think um I think maybe she's thinking mm -hmm. about uh, Facebook ads but we are actually is not doing any Facebook ads yeah because you have to spend money on Facebook ads. And mm -hmm. and the con and the concept of what we're having now is you spend zero on um Facebook 
ads, yeah, and you get to make browser on Shopee. So we are not talking about our Facebook ads. Okay. It's all about personal profile. Yes. Personal profile. Personal profile. Yeah. How to start Amar? Yep. Yep. Yeah. How to start? I think can yeah. start with the profile picture. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you share something? This is Amir. This is Actually, one of my okay. students. I mean, I'm coaching him yeah. on Shopee. He is doing quite well. Yeah. And he's very supportive also. Mm. Yes. Yeah, Marcus, can you share some of the yes. things that he has to do first? Thanks for all. <laughs> yes, Ama, thanks for asking this question. The first step is we need to know, we need to let other people know who we are. Because if I see a tiger, I'm scared of tiger, <laughs> I will click whatever you have to post. <laughs> Marcus, you are lagging. Trust. So, if you are doing business, you must let people search you and know who you are as a person. Technical issue. Okay, so basically, <laughs> it's, uh, you, you want to get people to... more, then they will see, oh, oh, actually, you have this product for sale. Oh, you are also a Shopee store owner. So, then you can okay. now... Yeah, you. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah, you. Yeah. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. So basically, yeah. Uh, what so uh, you want to get people to. Hmm. Okay, okay. I mean, I mean, for, for uh, you guys. I want to say yeah, so basically uh, I am Marcus Totai uh, some mentee so I can uh, share a bit so basically it's you need to show people who you are with the profile picture that the first first impression is very important so by changing the profile cover picture and build some about you you know Facebook about you you write down where you studied at if you don't mind it's not a very dangerous thing uh, is like letting people know where you study before that is not very dangerous or where you work maybe if you're working on those like very sensitive place yeah so if not it's a good branding to you you should uh, be proud of what you are doing so just show people what you sell show people your face yeah back then i when i met marcus i was taught uh, uh guys are uh, you know guys taking selfie and then post in facebook uh, it's very yeah. girly uh. It's like very, very girly la. It's like a girl thing la. But if we do this, we can get business in return. Then why not? Yeah. Yeah. So this is what Marcus taught me. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like uh, what is happening now is that uh, Marcus he is um, a bit lag, a, a bit lag la. But uh, I mean, it, it is okay, you know, because we. I mean, for those that scared of you know, oh shit, my happen when I do my live on my Facebook when I selling my thing, it is actually okay because. Um, I mean, you cannot change anything. Why not you just embrace it? You know, just say, I am sorry, guys, because of the Wi-Fi technique is lag, is lagging. People will understand. No, you know. So I mean, some some of you guys that are commenting here, Marcus has fallen victim into the infamous Malaysian Wi-Fi. You know, it is hundred percent fine. You know, we are human beings. We make mistake now and then. You know, it's definitely fine. Yeah, you know, people will understand. You see? So yeah, I mean, for me, I think. Uh, you, you, you just have to try. You just have to try. Yeah. So, it's so uh, here. Yeah, it's Amir here. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. There's no problem. Yeah, okay. One important so, uh, point is um, have no ego. Don't be too egoistic or don't be too afraid of losing face because you want to make money or you want to take care of your ego so is your ego bigger or your business goal bigger so if your business goal is bigger you will put your ego aside you will also put your emotion aside let's say you go live nobody watch then you know why lah because you didn't invite enough people lah <laughs> <laughs> so you have to find solutions to all your problem and you can do that when you are doing otherwise you just Watch people, how people get 100, 200 likes or viewers. You never learn yeah, because yeah, you did not do it. So when you do it, you're into it. 
then you have chance to improve. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, the very first thing, I mean, the very first thing that you guys have to do after watching this live is to start your own life. You know, and invite us to watch your life. Yes. I think the very, very first thing that you guys have to yes. do. And then we are going to share your life with, I mean, among our friends as well, just like what you did to us as well, you know, because uh, every time when we go on live, you know, uh, thanks for you guys, you know, you guys um, share and tag your friends as well. And we are going to give that support back to you guys as well, you know, because we are a, a community and I believe that we need to help each other to, um, I mean, to excel in their life or in their business as well. You know? So the very first mission or the very first yeah. task that you have to do after watching this live is to have your own life. You know, tag us, tag um, Wing Hon, um, Dylan, and Marcus, and then we are going to share your yes. video out as well. Okay, so please remember this. Do your very first life, and it is okay if it is not, it is a bad life. No worries at all, you know. We are, I mean, we always have our um, rooms to improve. Yeah. Okay, um, Dre, um, do you guys have any... Okay, one fastest way... Mm -hmm. One fast thing you can do is you just go to my Facebook and then go through and then you see whichever one that's many likes you just duplicate lah and then you can tag me if you tag me you get another extra like or comment lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes I mean, good for, point <laughs> I, mean, I mean for those people that um do not know how to start to do a live on their facebook or do not know what to talk about i mean you can start with um products review first you know, um, if like mm. a pen, I appreciate that you do not only sell one type of pen, right? You will sell a couple type of pens, you know? So you can just uh, re review whatever products that you have. And it did not need to be like very um, pro professional kind of life, you know? You just have to be like, um, just chill, you know? Just chill, just uh, enjoy the life with your, with whoever that is watching your life yeah. as well, you know? So you don't you do need to like be so, uh, so serious about the life. But you have to deliver what you yeah. have to de de deliver, but the whole environment has to be fun. What I yeah. saw, like many people are now doing Facebook Live, you know, mm -hmm. Facebook Live. A lot, what, a lot. A lot. Then, and you, what you can saw is the, the, I think the tactic is all about you feel comfortable and the audience feel comfortable. If you are very like, uh, it's like you are reading the script in a Facebook Live and you die there. <laughs> Yeah, so if you are comfortable with sharing what you know and you got engagement with the audience, I think they will be very comfortable. They are lying on the bed or they are sitting on the sofa. They are watching the live because this is a trend now. You can't. It's not. It's no longer a choice. It's a. It's a must for business owner to go online, and yeah. do Facebook marketing. Yeah. So if you are not doing that, are you you miss out a lot of money actually, and the money is actually just in front of you. You just have to open your Facebook and do a live. That's it. But if you are not doing it, you know, yes. it's tough. It's tough. You are leaving a lot of money uh, uh, in front of you, actually. Yeah. So first thing, do your own live. You can start tomorrow. No problem at all. Just tag um, Wing Hon, Dylan, you know, Marcus, and then we are going to share. How do you do it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you can actually um, invite us to do the live with you also. One. Yeah, <laughs> just, just. PM, you know, or just uh, contact us on on the group, you know, yeah, and just let us know the time, of course, lah. yeah. So we will be more than I'm happy to help you guys actually, yeah. So the the next thing that I would like to do a announcement that actually is actually um from Dylan, yeah. Okay. So um he's actually um, offering his offer to some of our members that he is going to reveal your Shopee store for one. free. Yeah, one for one. One. Uh, the The sum is one. <laughs> one only. One, okay? Because it takes a lot of time and effort to actually to do a whole uh, shop review. It actually takes a lot of time. And he will also be uh, giving out a product lay layout, right? Uh, didn't. Yeah, I'll help you to design one product cover mm -hmm. layout so you can duplicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one only. So, so to to join this, I mean, in, in order for you guys to get this, um, I mean, great stuff because a lot of us we do not actually know what's went wrong with our store. Why store um uh, didn't have sales? Why store wing do not have sales? When everything you copy is the same, but that's what you think. 
there are actually some tricks and hacks that are those small small things that you know that you did not do right actually and only dylan will know that yeah so if 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 you want to join us i mean if you want to get a chance to uh, to get tutor by uh, dylan just comment on the comment box your store name that's it just put your store name on the comment box and then uh, we, we will come back uh, and then Marcus, 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 and then uh, you are going to pick one winner on the comment box. Okay. So for those that want to get this free Shopee shop review uh, from Dylan that he is going to uh, scan through your shop, what's went wrong so that you can have more um, sales coming and so more traffic, just comment on the comment box your Shopee store names. Okay. Just, just comment there and then we will come back to that. Okay. So um, I have uh, questions for Marcus and, um, and Dylan as well. Okay. So because I know that Dylan, you have been spending quite a bit on the Shopee apps, right? Yes. I mean, last last session, you you said that you spent about um two hundred per day, yeah, is it? Two hundred a day. Yeah. So it's about um six thousand, six thousand a month. Yes. Yeah. I mean. This, this amount is not a uh, amount that everyone can spend, especially for those that just started Shopee, right? Yes. Yeah, 6,000, you know. So uh, what sort of things that uh, do you, I mean, okay, for 66,000, uh, you, you can generate maybe, maybe a, quite a bit of uh, money. Lah. So for uh, Marcus, what sort of um, expectations, the level of expectations are for those new Shopee seller, you know, how much you can expect to gain uh, Let's say uh, after the two live for the next seven days. It is a very subjective uh, answer because it all depends on the type of product you sell. And mm. sometimes a Shopee store, you have to also be creative. You can get some people buying small amount from you just to test you first. But ultimately, we want big clients. And big clients like corporate clients where after they buy 10 pens from you, end up the whole company they buy from you. Then maybe you take the deal out from Shopee. So I wouldn't say you are limiting yourself to say within first week, you will make 500 or 5,000. I would like you to go beyond your imagination and start doing and send traffic to your Shopee store using your personal Facebook account. Because if you have 1,000 friends, that means you have 1,000 potential customers slash 1,000 potential helper to help you market. Mm -hmm. And these 1,000 people actually is within your control if you build relationship, yes. which is most important. A lot of sellers are sellers. You are not entrepreneur yet. So be an entrepreneur who also have products to sell. Be an expert. You give people advice about say like people who write a lot sometimes the hand is painful so you can have other products to maybe help massage the hand you have oil you have all kinds of things evolving around your products and services mm -hmm. so i wouldn't set an amount but i can only say you have to or you should activate your personal network because otherwise it's wasted yes okay i have one question i don't know that um do you get these questions or not uh, Marcus, uh, what if I do not have friends on my Facebook? Uh? Do not have friends. Friends. <laughs> go, uh, go, go, go. Marcus, yes. Yeah. Yes. So if you don't have friends, it's time mm -hmm. to make friends because if you don't have friends, even if you're not in business, extreme cases, some people say, Marcus, I don't need friends. I don't have business. Okay, good. But one day, you want to help a charity organization raise funds. You have no Facebook, no friends. Raise from who? <laughs> right? But if you have many friends, you are a popular person, you are positive, you give a lot of value to your friends, then suddenly you say, I want to raise funds for this anti-plastic campaign, save the world or donate blood, whatever it is. Then your friends will support you. They will donate 100, 200, 500 because they see that you are someone very genuine, positive, so you need to have this network that is easy to activate because the moment you post tonight, tonight people are already seeing it. If you use WhatsApp, you suddenly WhatsApp me and ask me to donate money for, for you. I'm like, ah, why like that one? <laughs> so direct suddenly ask me to donate money. So it's correct. But if you post on Facebook and Facebook let me see your post, 
I don't feel that you are pushing into me. So I feel comfortable. Oh, okay, Dylan, you're doing charity. Okay, I would like to support. Fine, fine. Then I will communicate with you. So there's so many things that we can do. And somehow, sometimes emergency, you need help somewhere. Or some mm -hmm. people like they need some type, blood type donation, right? So they also post on Facebook. So if you're yeah. very influential, you have many friends, you have more opportunities. Yes. If, right? Oh. Correct. So that's the idea. Imagine your car gets stolen and then you put a picture. <laughs> Immediately, the next minute you get wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, okay, so for those that do not have much friends or any friends, you can add me, Dylan, and Marcus. Eh? Yeah, so do not worry. You still have three three friends here, that's for, for sure. Marcus, 5,000. Yeah, 5,000 friends. <laughs> yeah, actually, really. Yeah. Follower, you follow. I follow you. I I cannot add you as friend. I can follow you. So you message me. I follow you. I become mm -hmm. your follower. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is very. I mean, as of here, I just want to uh, uh for that Desmond Lower. I think this is very very um true. Your own follower means your own traffic. Yeah. Because this follower is different from the followers that you use um Facebook ads. You know, because these followers that follow you is your true genuine friends. So they will trust you more than those uh, traffic that you buy with money. Yeah. Yes. So your own follow, yeah, this is um Desmond is definitely right. Yeah. So uh okay, let's see uh, what sort of uh any any questions that you guys want to ask? Yeah, just feel free to drop your questions on the comment box. Yeah, we will get back to you. Many of them they already send their shop name in this comment box. Uh, let's see. <laughs> so, okay, um, do you think it's enough or you want to make a decision now, Dylan? Uh anytime. La. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's yeah. up to you, right? It's up to you actually. Yeah, I think can let Marcus to pick. Marcus, can you see on the stream yard the right side got many comments? I I can pick, but it's very difficult to pick because there are so many. Can you do something random? <laughs> I mean, random uh, give me an alphabet. <laughs> I start with that one. I see got a lot. A to Z. Mm -hmm. B. B, B, B. Yeah, so I start from top. Uh. Okay. B for best. B. Okay, we get this. Uh, the lucky winner goes to Lincoln. Oh, beta ideas.os. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, Lincoln. Okay, Lincoln. Lincoln are you uh, there? I'll do a deeper uh, uh short profile with you. Uh, I'll do a deep analysis for you. Yeah, yeah. so um for those that don't do know what I'm talking about, um actually Dylan is giving a deep analysis about um shop shopping store um in order to improve like um the whole the whole um, the whole shopping store in terms of like the, the product, you know, it was just anything to in order to drive more traffic to the uh, to the store. Okay, so Lincoln, are you there? I think he's. Oh yeah, he's here. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, buddy. Yeah, so this the the free stuff that we are going to give up. Okay, so um, if you guys have any questions regarding how to start with um this Facebook zero marketing strategy, just comment on the comment box below, and then uh, Marcus, Marcus is going to um, answer or you know, we are going to answer it. It is a very great plan. Um, Pleasure for us to invite Marcus over here actually because um, I mean he runs a couple of um, online seminars and you and you have a seminar coming up right Marcus on, on coaching on the, the Facebook yes. marketing stuff. Yeah. Can can you like tell right. so my tell, next tell coaching program? program. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I would like to do something for everyone uh, this evening. I have a template where if you do not know what to post on Facebook, this template will have 100 over of my posts, my best 90 posts and my lousiest 10 posts. So 100 plus add together, where you can see what posts I have managed to generate more than 300 likes, what posts I managed to generate leads, where I just ask a question and then a lot of people say, I want, I want, I want, I want. So if you want this template for complimentary, normally I'm giving it only to those who attend my workshop as a bonus. But today I have to give something, right? You also uh, thanks to Wing for having me. So those of you who want this complimentary template, you comment Zach BFM, and then once I look at the comment, I'm going to send you this template. 
you can just duplicate and modify the words. You don't duplicate hundred percent now because if you duplicate hundred percent, then my friends see your post, then they will say you are copycat. <laughs> so you don't want that. So you change, change the words, change the content, change the photos. Yes. And then you tag me if you want, then I can also give you ways to improve. If you are willing to do it, I'm willing to share a few tips with you. And if you want to go further, then I have a workshop coming June 7, and you can register at learnzbfm.com. Learnzbfm.com. That means learn zero budget Facebook marketing. ZBFM. You can see the alphabet here. Learnzbfm.com. And for those of you, yeah, learnzbfm.com. And for those of you who register within 24 hours, I will send you gifts from my sponsor, Aichong Coffee. So you will receive coffee if you sign up within 24 hours. Uh, not just two cups, lah. there are a lot more. I won't tell you, you will get it as a surprise. <laughs> so 24 yeah. hours for you to think if you want to attend this program. It's a one-month program. One-month program where you will post and I will get you how to post. And you will also be joining a group of very established entrepreneurs within the group. We already have a property professional. We have an image consultant. We also have, uh, I think, insurance or something. So we have a very diverse group so you can learn from each other. Our e-commerce seller as well. I already have an e-commerce seller, Lazada and Shopee seller as well, selling baby products. So um, one question uh, to Dylan. Uh, so how, how do you see um, this whole thing? How do you think that um, this thing can help our Shopee sellers now? Or, you know, okay. how, how, uh, yeah. I, could, I could say in a simple way. Lah, okay? So if you are selling something in Shopee, you mm -hmm. are a business owner. Okay? No matter you put yourself at a one position that you are doing part-time or full-time. For me, business, there's no part-time one. Okay, even though you put part of your time to do it, but your mindset should be an entrepreneur. Okay, you need to take the challenge that an entrepreneur, you need to do the things that a business owner should do. And one of the things that business owner and entrepreneur should do is to market themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah, so as a Shopee seller, you also need to market yourself. You need to tell people what you are doing. Okay? Maybe you are selling something that you drop ship from uh, Qmo10 or save value to you. Yes, you are still selling something. Your friends should know what you are doing. So mm -hmm. if they buy, they didn't buy something from you, like Marcus say, very sayang lah. It's your friend, or yeah, yeah, very sayang. So I could say, uh, face zero budget Facebook marketing. It's a uh, my dad is watching. Hello. Okay. Hey, uh, so, <laughs> uh, zero budget Facebook marketing is a very effective things that you can use. And I would really recommend for people who are, I couldn't say the word lazy, la, but you want to work smart. Okay, if you want to work smart, zero budget Facebook marketing is definitely the way to go because the effort that you put in compared to the result that you get is really very different. You just put in a little bit of time and effort, do some posting every day consistently with some valuable content, and then you get result. Yeah, so this is yeah. what I want to tell the sellers. Mm -hmm. Because I, I mean, um, the very big question, I mean, the, the, the question that we get very often is that, um, how to generate traffic to my Shopee store, right? That is the most uh, asked question. Yes. So I'm pretty sure that uh, most of us, uh, except for those that do not have friends, well, I know, we have at least like 500 to 1,000 friends. Uh, I think that's a low, low kind of, kind of thing. Uh. And that means that uh, you already have existing 500 to a thousand potential customers that you can uh, that you can uh, uh, ask them to buy from you. you no, know, of course you don't hey, buy uh, you know, you just have to do some videos of life so that they know that you are actually selling this. Yeah. So those are the free traffic. You do not need to spend any money. Yeah. And of course you need to have the uh, the art of asking, right? Uh, Marcus, the art of uh, the art of asking, you know. You cannot like, oh, you buy for me, la, you know, you need to have the art, yes. the, the skill, la, the, the, the skill. Yeah. 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 So, um, Marcus, he is actually giving out his, um, 100, um, the tips, uh, how, how should we put it, uh, a uh, hundred posts that is, that works on. Example on posts, real life uh, posts. Post. Yeah. 
real real life post that actually works that um that people will actually buy from you you are asking people to buy from you by not asking them to buy from you yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so yes. it is an art of um, asking people to buy things from you like you know you don't directly ask them, oh you buy buy this from me buy this from me people do not show, show you one yeah. yeah yeah so if, if if you want to get the hundred free sample that works on um, on your facebook on your facebook personal page just comment zach b f n on the comment box and then marcus marcus you are going to send it to them right yes yeah. i'm going to uh, go to the list and then i will mm -hmm. send them a link where they can just download mm -hmm. yes so you will get this thing 100 percent for free right marcus it's free right Yes, it's complimentary. So all you have to do is what I call copy, modify, paste. So if you cannot do this, then I don't know how to help you. Like, it's the fastest way already. <laughs> yeah, so, so what you'll get is hundreds proven examples that is going to work. So you just have to copy, edit, and modify. Yeah, copy, modify, and paste. Yeah, you have to copy, modify, and paste and post it on your Facebook. If you cannot do that, then as Marcus says, also Yeah. So this is all thing is absolutely for free. Yes, Stephen. Hi Marcus, are you writing on a new book? Stephen? Uh, Marcus, do you want to answer this? Oh. Yes, Stephen, I'm writing a new book and it is going to be on Facebook Live. Uh, the title I haven't decided because I realized that in this period, if you are able to do a lot of things online, you can actually overcome a lot of competitors and obstacles. It's all about mindset. Yes. How can you get a few hundred people watching you over a period of two hours, three hours, listening to you? So now is the only time because once MCO is lifted, the traffic can be a bit less. But this has already become a lifestyle. So before your competitors do it, you faster do it. And then you become the influencer first, especially for those of you who think that your customer are not here. Never mind, you do on Facebook Live first. Then when you're more established, you can be invited to bigger platforms. If you first already want to be on big platform, but you're going to experience here, it's hard. People who invite you onto big platforms will look at your profile. They also will stalk you, not on LinkedIn only, but also Facebook. Because if you are looking for investor, your investor will say, you are very passionate about your business, really. Yeah. Okay, let me look at your Facebook. Huh? Yeah. Talk about entertainment only, talk about food only. <laughs> Where got time for running this business? business? I don't want to invest in you. Lah. Compared to oh, every week you do live talking about this subject. Yeah. Every work, you are amazing. I want to invest in you. Something like that. This is very, very true. Mm. I mean, so it pretty much that uh, you, I mean, just now as what Dylan says, uh, you cannot really become a uh, part-time businessman. Uh. I still remember the first questions. I mean, I mean for those that um, do not know this, I actually, I went for Marcus uh, course, it's like a couple of years back. The first answer, the, the first question that I asked uh, Marcus, hey, Marcus, if I want to quit my job, you know, and venture into business, how much saving that I need to have before I can quit my job? Yeah, because they will still remember these questions. Uh. So if you want to quit your job and venture into a business um, full time, how much saving that you need to have? Oh, you asked Marcus this. That's wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I asked Marcus this. This is the first question that I asked. Yeah. Nice. nice. So I, I don't know, Marcus, can you still remember or not? La? It's like five, five years back. Wow, many stories to tell. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because I think it is. cannot it's remember. Good. What was my answer? <laughs> uh, your, your, your answer is. Um, what was my answer? Um, your, your, your saving have to be able to tahan at least a good 12 months. 12 months? Yeah, 12 months. Do, do blast bulan. That was like five, 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 mm. five years back. Mm. I don't know whether you have a better. Uh, perceptions now or not, uh. yeah, because things, things have changed, man. Things have changed, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, so for those that really want to um, um, venture into business and you do not know whether should you be going uh, on food. I yeah. would say, given this general question, mm -hmm. I think Marcus it is on space. It's on space. <laughs> In business, if your part time business is already making money mm -hmm. then you can probably be a bit i'm waiting it's, it's okay we give yeah, some fine. give some time if your part-time business is making some money already then mm -hmm. maybe you can balance a bit and if it's making enough to support your full time, then maybe you don't need 12 months. You can reduce. Mm -hmm. Iron Man. Iron Man. <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's answer this um, question. Uh, Dylan? Okay, post. so how to become stockies? Uh, Marcus, <laughs> is Marcus back? <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, never mind, I answer this question first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I answer first. Uh. So, okay, we wait. We wait, Marcus, to unmute first. Now, freezing. <laughs> uh, Go Suntak, thanks for asking. Dylan, how to become stockies with minimum capital and how hmm. did you start? Okay, so basically to become a stockist, you just need to keep one piece of product, then you can consider yourself as a stockist already. So I think it's it's about mindset. Like imagine today uh, you are selling something that okay. you can make. Uh, okay, it's Marcus back. I finished this question, uh, uh, one minute. So imagine you are buying a product that you can sell it and make 20% of margin. Okay, how much money, if you put it in, bank fixed deposit uh, how many percent you can get when how, how many percent uh? <laughs> sorry again if, 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 if you save you, your money in bank how much you can get four percent right three three to four uh, yeah around three to four imagine you put it in bank three to four for a year but if you buy a product okay then you can make 20 percent what if you cannot sell it in a year what's the difference between putting it on the bank no difference <laughs> Imagine like 4%, la. five years you cannot sell the products, la. then only you lost the opportunity to make that 4%. Mm -hmm. It makes sense or not? It makes sense, right? So it's like you just convert the cash into product that you will eventually sell off one day. Definitely can sell one. Because bad. the product, if cannot sell, la, why the manufacturer want to do? Correct or not? Mm -hmm. They spend so many budget on R&D and then on designing, and with the logistic just to do something that cannot be sell impossible mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's about the you know the balls uh, you need to have the balls to buy mm -hmm. you need to have a boss like imagine you buy uh, let's say you buy basketball to sell uh, you just mm -hmm. buy 10 balls yeah it's the matter of time mm -hmm. when do you sell it off mm -hmm. so you need to have that to jump uh. yeah. hey marcus yeah. is back hello yeah. hey marcus Still very, very cold. <laughs> <Chris> <laughs> <there>. Hi. <laughs> Marcus got zero budget in Wi Fi. <laughs> Time like this, don't know why. Yeah, yeah it's I, okay. think it's a rain, I think it's a rain. That's why. Sometimes it's a bad Thanks, God, that for asking this question. Hope it helps. Okay, I, I have done the question. Yeah, now I it's back. Very right, makes sense. Thanks, uh, Dex. Yeah, because I I think the the wrong con concept of people thought. Okay, of what's stock the question is. about the stocky stocky? Uh, uh, that one answered already. Mm -hmm. Savings when... is it for twelve months? Uh, savings, yes. yes. Yes, 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 yes. If you if, if you if you want to quit our job and venture into a uh, into a business for full time. <laughs> I 
Wow, wow, say until like that. Uh, something technical issue you cannot avoid one, but you see, ah, uh, we don't, we are not, uh, we are not, uh, afraid of this uh, mistake, lah, because this is not not a big mistake. We can do our Facebook live one, yeah. Yeah. So this is a uh, goal is more important. It's okay to lose some, lose some like images. Yeah. Yeah. Master, can you hear us? Yes, yes, can. Yeah, we yeah. can hear you now. Very good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so sorry. Don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's back to the question. Is like um yeah, how how much like the the savings that we should have you know before we quit our job. Uh, I would say safely is about twelve months because mm. you never know what will happen in your business, and sometimes you need to also estimate. Like sometimes you have relatives who get married, who have baby, who want to buy gifts, mm. or maybe funeral. Sometimes and charity, you want to have some budget for that. This kind of side things, lah, mm -hmm. and to start then, if you. Also need to budget well enough, and depending on your risk appetite. If you are single, then you can take higher risk. Worst case, ah, uh, like MCO, you just stay at home, lah. Your expenses is very low, or you move back to your parents' place. You can eat at home. Your parents cook, but you still have renter outside to pay. It's something that you really have to consider. But most important is, if you have enough pain in your current situation, your chance of success normally is higher. Yeah. Enough pain because you will dare to take more risk to, for example, quit your full time job. But please plan properly, very very careful. Which is something that I have shared in my book, where you should not quit without a plan. And the plan involves financial planning, emotional planning. Remember, if you are employed, you give a business card. Your title have manager. The moment you start your own business, you are zero. People say, oh. Oh, who are you? Ah, oh, this company. Ah, oh, may thank God. Tak pernah dengar dari mana punya. Wah, then your ego will be hurt, right? Because last time you are senior manager, GM, people respect you. Now you go and you sell something, people face because they don't know you. So if you are not ready to eat the humble pie and be stepped by people or look down on people, then you are not ready. Correct. I learned a new word, humble pie. Yep. This so that's very, my quick summary. Nice mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, what, what you said <laughs> yes. is actually very, very true, like, Because you know, you, you, uh, I mean, if someone is like, uh, especially like in a very high management position, you know, if they lost it, you know, if they, if they start their business, if success is okay. If not, well, yeah, you know, then they might have to go back to the company, you know, and um, yeah, can I have a job back or whatever is it? So they will have that kind of thought. Yeah. yeah. What if the what the what if kind of things, you know? What if I fail? What if I this? What what if I that? But what if you did not try and you will success actually? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, this kind of thing. Um, or what you can do is you can start something. Um, correct. Correct. And one uh, thing you. Yeah, Marcus, go ahead. Yeah, you also have to plan with your family because for men, for example, your wife will have expectation, your wife parents will have expectation, your wife siblings will have expectation. So the moment you start your business, you are starting from zero, and then when they see that you are not doing well, some are kind to support you, but some will look at you, and then even if they look at you with vision, you feel that oh, your I'm like a nobody. So this kind of emotional psychology has to be managed first and give yourself room and communicate with your spouse to give yourself one year, two years, three years and how you plan forward. And this is the worst case. This is the best case. So it's not so simple if you have a family. You should very well. But I can tell you most of your family members, they are very afraid if they business 
the safe side is always don't lah, don't lah. You keep your full time job better lah, fixed income. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that's the normal reaction, especially parents that are in more conservative profession. They are not in business. Then they will say, no lah. Why you want to go susa susa? Take risk like that. Especially now, uh, uh, economy no good. You should keep your job. So it's very hard to answer this question. Come this June, it will be full ten years that I'm a full time entrepreneur. And I can tell you, I have gone through so much, so painful sometimes. Even I had a fail really because of failed business. But now I look back, it's like, hey, I'm living a very colorful and very happy life. Yes. Colorful doesn't mean black. Time sometimes white, sometimes yellow, purple. But I'm enjoying life because I'm doing something that I really wanted to do, and it's most valuable. Yeah. Yes. That's my yeah. short answer. <laughs> hmm. I mean, so it's actually it's, it's very true, sir. Mm. Didn't, yeah. Yeah. Hope it encourage more people to stand up and do more things. <laughs> yeah. Step forward. Yeah. I mean, the I mean, the, before you you do anything, you know, the very first thing you have to do is your life. Yeah. I mean, life like face Facebook life, not the life life. Yes. <laughs> so I mean, if if you are sell, selling or just just whatever that you are selling, like you know, on Shopee, um, Lazada, just what. Wherever that you're selling things, that you know, go for life first. Yeah, go with FB Life first. It is hundred percent free. Yeah, and you get to generate free traffic to your business as well. So do this first. So the number one thing that you have to uh, it, um, bring home after watching this live is to start your Facebook Live. Yeah, and then you can uh, invite uh, me, Dylan, and Marcus, and then yeah, we will join if if the time is now, of course, lah. You don't do it at 12 a.m. Like, you're gonna sleep already. Like. Huh? I'm okay at 12 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I already do at 12 a.m. Yeah, and then we will guide you through as well. So do not worry at all. Yeah, okay. And then yeah, um, any questions that you want to ask Marcus? Because um, I I mean me and Dylan not too sure that can we actually invite Marcus again on our next se- yeah. session. So if you have any, because he is busy with the classes as well, you know. He is a very busy man with his uh, business and uh, courses as well. And then he has his own students and community as well, you know. So um, if you have any questions, I'll just post it on the comment box so that uh, he will answer you right away now. And so if you have any questions regarding how to be more effective in terms of like up to post on Facebook to have more engagement, you know, with your um, Facebook fans, or Facebook friends, you know, just comment on the comment box now so that um, he's going to help you out. Yeah. So did, did you have any, any things that you want to share or, yeah? Yeah, I think that's all. And really thanks, Marcus, for having us today, tonight. And Marcus really shared a lot. I really I really hope that yeah. many of the viewers uh, get this idea on how do you spend zero on Facebook to create leads. Because it really helps me, that's why I'm sharing this. Uh. Yeah, it really helps me. And to encourage people, like just now we said how many saving you need to save in order to go full time, right? Meaning that if you are at the age of like 20 or 25 something, you have not much commitment, means you have lesser commitment, you know. You have got no need to think much. You just go, you just go make mistake and then just to do that. Uh. Compared to people with families, they have you know, if you're hungry yourself, then okay. Uh, if you cannot do it well, your wife, your kids, your your dad, your mother, your pet's dog, your cat also hungry, then cannot all. Yeah. So if you are young enough and you don't have much commitment, <laughs> you just do it. Uh. Go for it. Yeah. This is what I want to say. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Marcus, for having us. Yeah, thanks, Marcus, for joining us. So um, I think that's it for thanks now. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that's it for now. So yeah, um, just, just to have a quick recap. So for those that want to get the Facebook uh, mm-hmm. posting templates from Marcus, you know, that Marcus actually only offers this to his own student only. But because of um, he is a good friend of um, Dylan and I, so that he, yeah, he is uh, willing to give it out for all of you guys. Yeah, so all you need to do is just comment on ZB FM on the comment box and then uh, Marcus you send me the link so that you can download these hundreds, hundreds, hundreds proven templates that you can use on your Facebook page, on your Facebook uh, personal page. Okay, yeah. and if you like the 
learn more about what sort of uh, mm. market teaching, you can just go to learn um, zbfm.com and you get to see all his courses over there as well on how you can actually spend zero on Facebook and generate more leads and sales to your online business as well. Okay, so yeah, mm. that's it for now, guys. Thank you for joining us. I will, we will see you yeah. next week. Ciao, ciao, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye bye.